Hello, hello. I am still out looking at new construction today with clients. And this is our second house. This is gonna be three. Let me oh well, let me get to pull up. Let me get the right paper here. It doesn't help that it's raining and so my papers are getting wet, but we're gonna make this work. <laughs> so we're looking at 304 Lace Carroll. It's lot 85. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home with a two car garage. Okay, so let's get started. This is the front of the house. It has not the siding and the um, the brick. It looks like it's going to be some siding and brick on this or stonework um, has not gone up yet. But this is what it looks like right now. And then that's kind of the neighborhood here right behind us. What they'll look like. Okay. And this home is listed at 313-100. Okay. So 313-100. This is lot 85. Let's go take a look. Four bedroom, two and a half bath home with a two car garage. These should be done in the next 60 to 90 days. So ready for moving. This is your front porch here. Nice covered front porch. All right, the floors have not been installed yet in this one. But when you do come in, you come into your half bath here. So that would be your commode. And then this would be your um, vanity area. Okay, door close here. You also have to your right of the front door a, a coat closet. Okay, and I kind of like that they're moving the bathrooms away from the kitchen. I know that was a, a thing at one time, but the bathroom here is closer to the front and a little further away from the kitchen. You do have a hallway, so you have an entrance into your home. Um, here are the stairs right here to the right. And then to the left, we will come into your kitchen, great room area. So here would be your island. And you have some overhang there so you can put some stools. This would be your pantry. Okay. Um, stove would be here. Mounted microwave. I'm going to say the refrigerator is going to be there. Here is your island, which will have your sink and your dishwasher here. And then this is your eating area. And so you'll notice this one has some trim work around the top. A little bit different. I like that they're not all exactly the same. This is your eating area. And then you'll also have that space on the other side of the island where you could put some stools or chairs there. Here is your. This is not open. Okay. Woo! That was hard work. So, <laughs> this area is your mud room here. <clears throat> they have a nice little bench to put your shoes, hang your coats, um, and then this will be your access to your garage. Okay, so two car garage, you come into the house, you have this area here to hang your shoes, your coat, your bag, storage area here, and then this is your eating space. Your island and your kitchen are all here, okay? And then it opens up to the family room area, and you do have a fireplace in this one. Uh, it does have a covered porch as well with electrical running here. So a fan or a light, uh, whatever you decide. And this is the backyard. And these are on right under a fifth of an acre. So 0 0.18. So you have a little bit of space there. Okay. All right, so in this house, all of your bedrooms are upstairs, all four bedrooms, and you have two full baths upstairs. So let's take a look. Now, you all do not laugh at me with these steps, okay? Because even though I walk and I exercise a lot, I still, stairs still take my breath away. Woo! All right, so here is your laundry room. And it's nice that the laundry room is upstairs. So you have to take everything down. This is your laundry room storage area. Again, those are your steps when you come up. There's a small space here if you want to put a bench or a table, a little desk. Here's the first bedroom. Has a little area to put a great little window seat. Okay, and a large closet with a window. Okay, that's the first bedroom. Second bedroom here, we come in. Kind of has a little of a hallway to get in. 
Here And here is the closet for this room. It's, kinda, it's a little bit smaller than the other closet, but it's still a good size. That's the first two rooms. So we're heading on down. Here's your linen closet. Okay. And here's your first bathroom. This bathroom will have double vanities, the commode, and then the shower tub combination. And it also has the insert for your bath products there. All right, here is the owner suite. I can tell because it's the biggest one. That's how I figured it out. Oh, here's the closet here. This will be a walk-in closet. Okay. And this one will have the tray ceiling. And it has two closets here. So here's the second closet. His and hers, hers and hers, his and his. However you want to figure it out. But it has two walk-in closets in this room. And this is your owner suite. That's the door there. All right, let's take a look. Double vanity here. It has this sunken tub. Great, nice window, great lighting here. Remember these houses don't have any electricity on, so it's pretty good lighting here. And it's a cloudy day today. Um, stand and shower. And then here is your water closet where your commode will go. I do like that the commode is in a separate room. It's a nice feature. It's not something that you would think about, but it's a cool feature. So this is the owner suite. We have one more room to check out up here. Again, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. It is selling for three thirteen one hundred. And here is the fourth room, fourth bedroom. closet okay so I'm going to start at the top of the stairs and go through the rooms one more time just in case we missed anything but I'm not going back up and down the steps because you guys are not gonna laugh at me because I'm breathing hard <laughs> okay so as soon as you come up the steps the steps are directly behind me and this is kind of what you see when you come up the steps okay so to your left would be the laundry room and storage area here um, as you progress, this is the next bedroom here, bedroom number one. Um, this bedroom has a kind of a short hallway, but bedroom number two. Okay. Okay, so there's enough space here if you wanted a little couch or something here. Linen closet, full bath, bedroom number three. Okay. And then the fourth bedroom, which is the owner suite. Walk-in closet number one. Then we span around the room here. And then walk-in closet number two. And then here's your ensuite bath, which has the double vanity. Okay. The sunken tub with your window here, standing shower and a water closet. I'll go downstairs and do one more swing around downstairs. And if you guys have any questions, give me a call, 803-566-0984. My name is Ray Allen. I'm a realtor with JP and Associates here in Columbia. And where we are right now is in Elgin. So Elgin is right outside of Northeast Columbia, like a hop, skip, and a jump. So you come down the stairs, this is your space here. So family room with the fireplace, Oh, they're doing something. Oh, that scared me. Um, an island here that will have seating. Your pantry. This will be cabinetry all the way around. Your um, stove will go here. Your microwave will be mounted above it. Pantry, I'm sorry, cabinetry, and then your refrigerator. This is your eating space here. So somewhat of a separation. Um, the kitchen kind of is right in the middle. Uh, this is your mud room. I like a mud room. South Carolina can have some rainy, muddy days. This will be a storage area. And then you have here where you can put your shoes and your jackets. Okay. 
All right, I'll give you one more view of the front and then we are out of here. So walking back out the front here, you have a nice long hallway so you don't kind of just walk right into the house. Um, here's your powder room, your guest bath. And then here is your storage closet, okay? Let me get out of here, because I don't know what fell, but almost jumped out of my skin. Ooh, that wouldn't have been good. So here's the view from the front. Like I said, they're still building and developing this neighborhood, but the units that I'm looking at today will be ready in about 60 to 90 days. So if the springtime is your deadline to move, this is when it will be ready, okay?